And welcome back. It's time for Motivational Monday. You might think you're a pretty legit person, but are you showing your true colors? We're learning more about the characteristics of authenticity with therapist Mike Jenkins from the Rock Counseling Group. Good morning, Mike. How are we doing today? Good, sir. How are you? So far, so good. Can't complain. So to begin here, can you share a few details about some of these characteristics? Sure. So when we talk about authenticity, you know, we're talking about this, it's kind of a concept, you know, the degree to which a person's actions are congruent with their beliefs and desires. So some of those characteristics are, you know, obviously being true to yourself, uh, this idea of thinking inward, but looking outward, um, the way you treat others, uh, being a great listener, and then also being open minded. So how can we be more authentic in our everyday lives? So the first part of that we always talk about is, you know, what are your core values? You know, what are the things that drive you as a person in terms of your morals, your ethics, um, things of that nature? And it's surprising, a lot of times people don't really know what their core values are. Um, we have this conversation a lot in my office and, you know, as we walk through that process, identifying things and looking for discrepancies between core values and the ways people tend to live their lives, we start to notice that that's where a lot of our problems are coming from. So, Mike, are there ever times when we're not encouraged to be ourselves, whether it's, you know, a social gathering or even at work? I think there's times where we have to fit into social norms. Um, but even in those moments, I think a person still has to find ways to be true to themselves. Um, obviously, there's, you know, there's ways and decorum that we have to conduct ourselves in depending on the setting. But it doesn't mean that you can't still be authentic in who you are. So what tips would you have for someone who might be struggling with this right now? Uh, I would tell a lot of people to talk to their friends and family, you know, if you're not sure what your core values are, ask people what they think of you, you know, not at the superficial, like what hats do you wear in terms of, you know, you're a father, an employee, a brother, a son, whatever. But, you know, what are those things that people see in you in, tr in terms of authenticity, things like integrity, loyalty, trustworthiness, um, along those lines? You bet. So, Mike, when I think about people trying to be authentic and putting their best foot forward, I guess I always think to how they portray themselves on maybe social media and stuff like that. So can you explain mm -hmm. to us how, you know, those authentic behaviors might not necessarily try, uh, shine through on social media? What recommendations would you have to people to be a little bit more authentic on social media? Well, that's a great question. Uh, you know, social media, a lot of times people put their best foot forward. Um, and I think that's where the we missed the ball in terms of authenticity. Mm -hmm. you know, not everybody has the, the greatest life ever. You know, the kids aren't always the best or the job isn't the most perfect thing. Uh, and so when portraying yourself there even, you know, it is important to still be true to you uh, and not put things out there that aren't necessarily representing you as your authentic self. Can you explain to us what kind of feeling it is to be able to embrace some of those characteristics and just be a little bit more authentic every given day and not necessarily care, care what, you know, some people are looking at you as? Sure. You know, I, I use the word empowerment a lot. You yeah. know, when we're being true to ourselves, um, it is one of the more empowering feelings. You know, we're not having to wear a hat or flex and bend and pretend to be something we're not. So if you really want to feel truly empowered and, you know, genuinely able to live your life, then focus on your authenticity. Right now for the COVID-19 pandemic, would you say that people are struggling a little bit more to show their authenticity or not necessarily? Um, I don't know if they would necessarily struggle with authenticity, but I think we're starting to see the sides of people when they're dealing with chronic stress, chronic anxiety, um, you know, kind of seeing the other side of somebody when they're, you know, we've all been through this craziness for the past year. And so we're starting to see a lot more of that come out in people. At one point, yeah. should somebody reach out for help and, uh, you know, reach out to therapists like you? Sure. I think, you know, for me, it's those moments when you're not really sure who you are, right? And even if it's not a, a mental health type situation that we're dealing with, even just to come in and talk about, you know, how do you portray yourself to the world? How are, are you living in authenticity? And again, with that focus on empowerment to truly live your life to the fullest that you want to live it. Certainly good advice, especially for starting out this uh, Monday morning here as well. If people have questions and they would like to reach out to you, uh, what resources do you have available that you can re uh, they can reach out to you at? Sure. So rockcounselinggroup.com is our website. And then, of course, you guys can give us a call at 217-722-9079. All right, Mike, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate talking to you this Monday. Thank you. Have a good one. We'll see you later. Jack has your forecast next. We'll be right back.